Hello, good afternoon. I'm Muriel Rumble. I'm in the Irish National Sailing and Powerboat School and we're an SFI Discover Centre. Today we're delighted to welcome Whitechurch National School. It's first class and they're doing a workshop Hello. with us. Okay, so we're going to come in this door here. When they come in first of all into the centre, we just show them some of the things that they're going to find at the beach. All of these creatures live on the beach and they live in, some of them live in little rock pools. Do you know anything else about the limpet? They stick to a rock. Will you be my rock? Will you come and be my rock? Okay. This is a rock, okay? The limpet is my favourite and I find that the children find this really interesting. We saw limpets and we looked at things that killed the limpets. This starfish, it is the five arms. It is a little, 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 little tiny eye. They have little eyes on each side of their arms and Every time a shark bites into one of their arms and other arm grows back. We head off down to the beach, we bring our buckets with us so that we can uh, collect any shells or any wonderful things that we find down there. We went to the beach and we looked at these. We looked at um, the sea and we looked at... We saw a huge crab. Now, what has he got here? He's got his swimming legs, he's got his walk legs. Oh, he doesn't have his pinchers. Look, and this is where his eyes are. When they actually go down there and they actually see the limpet, we get them to feel the barnacles and just how sharp they are. We then look at the sea anemone an and they get very excited when they see the tentacles out and they're actually trying to catch some food. We emphasise the living things and hands-on approach. They can actually pick up the limpets, they can actually pick up the crabs, they can look underneath the stones so it becomes a living classroom. We find razor shells on the beach. Uh, I find a razor shell. <laughs> On the beach, they find the trails of the lugworms. We dug and we saw tunnels and we broke into it. You'll see how a little trail, and it looks like as if it's a sandworm. It's a lugworm, and when he goes down, he burrows down into the sand. He takes the sand and all into his tummy, mm -hmm. and then he takes out the food. When they find something, they are just absolutely over the moon. It's just so important that they are made aware of, of all of these things. When we go out on the boat, um, I give them the language of the harbour. Um, we talk about slipways, we talk about moorings, we talk about uh, pontoons, we talk about all of these things. We take them out on special launch boats. Um, they have seats on them and they don't have to wear wetsuits. They uh, have life jackets on. Um, we always make sure they have life jackets on and we take them out in groups. There's about 14, depending on the size of the children, will fit on each boat. This is the heron. Look at his, he's fishing so he is. Because he's got such a long beak, he's actually able to, to l see the fish underneath the water and he's able to, with his beak, he's able to put it down and he's able to grab them. What country is that? That's Hose. That's still Dublin. That's still Ireland. It's just cold on the far side. We're very lucky in Dunleary Harbour because we have so much sea life um, in the harbour itself. I saw about five fish swimming together. Now, this is where we have to stay very, very quiet. We've got to go straight up to the top, Hazel. When we go out on the boats, we see seals and their favourite spot is, um, we call them the caves. They have to close their nostrils when they go underwater, otherwise they would sink. They love um, going in the boat. No matter what child we have, once they're in the boat, it seems to have a very calming effect on them. We fed the seal, we fed them fish and got all slimy. The seagulls were trying to eat all of the fish off the poor little Seal. But the seal got some. There was a pink spot on the seagull and whenever the baby seagull touched that spot on the adult, the adult brings up the food and puts it into the baby's mouth. If you want to book a 
SFI Discover Centre workshop. You can telephone us at 01 2844 195. Online, it's inss.ie.